Why did the can crusher quit his job? Because it was so depressing. <laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back. Right, so a lot of people have been experiencing problems using Downloader on Fire Stick and Fire TV devices. Problems such as error connection and not opening websites properly and not even being able to access the hamburger menu inside of websites. So we're quickly going to show you how to fix those issues. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so as you can see, I have got Downloader there, and this is the app that we're going to concentrate on. Right, so first of all, before you do anything, you've got to make sure you go across to Settings, down and across to My Fire TV, and then we want to go down to Developer Options, and always make sure your apps from unknown sources is turned on. I know a lot of people will be saying, Free Tech, we already knew that shit, but this is for the people that didn't know that one, all right? <laughs> So now let's go and take a look at the other issues. Right, so we're quickly going to visit a website, but there's a step that we haven't taken, and we're going to see what happens. So I'm going to click on Go, and then we're going to try installing something. So it's going to take us through to this part, click on Download, and see what happens. Right, so now we're on the Downloads page. It should automatically download and install whatever I'm trying to download. Don't know how many times I wanted to say download, but I said it. <laughs> Right then, so as you can see, download. An unknown error has occurred. Check your URL and connection. Right, so I'm going to show you a simple fix for this one. So if I go back out of Downloader, go all the way back into the applications, you go into this port here, click on Downloader, and make sure you clear the data. Or you could uninstall and reinstall the app. Launch the application. And the only thing I did different is I didn't allow the permission, so I clicked on Deny. A very important step is that it won't let you download anything if you don't allow the permissions. So if you are getting that error, that warning, do make sure you go and check that, clear the data or reinstall Downloader, and make sure you allow the settings when you first launch it. So now we've allowed that, now I'm going to go back into the install and see if it works. Right, so let's click on a download again. We'll wait for it to start installing and we'll see what it says this time. Right, so the countdown has finished and we should expect it to install it. And there you go, you can see the file has downloaded and now I'm able to install it. So I know it's a really simple fix and I know a lot of you will already know that. But for those who are having problems and haven't actually tried it, make sure, like I said, clear the data or reinstall Downloader and make sure you allow the permissions. I mean, next, just twitch like you've never known. Wow. <laughs> it went like that. Right, so there is one more thing you have to double check if websites aren't functioning properly inside of Downloader. Make sure you go to, fa um, not favourite, sorry, settings. And, uh, uh, oh God, I cannot speak. <laughs> and you must make sure the JavaScript is enabled. Now with the update to download it, it's, it's enabled by default. But do make sure that it is checked. And then the only other thing that people are experiencing problems with is how to work websites inside of Downloader. So when you're trying to access the hamburger menu or the three line button, I don't know what everybody likes to call it, but I'll just demonstrate it now. So if I go to let's crack on .org, it works the same for any website. You're going to see I've got a three line button, hamburger menu. So we're going to click on that and you're going to see it disappear. It's not disappeared. I'm going to click on that and sometimes you will notice that the hamburger menu actually disappears or it will not open it whatsoever. It'll just peek through a real little bit and then go. And it's like, you're not clicking me, you're not fast enough. <laughs> So if you are having the problem in websites with the, the menu option not actually working, all you're going to have to do is click on that three line button or hamburger menu on your controller or in the top right hand corner, you go to the hamburger menu or three line button, click on that and then it says full screen mode. So if we click there, it's going to bring up, so there's no hamburger menu three line button anymore. So you can access the menu like that go to downloads and then simply click the hamburger menu three line button again and then you can exit the full screen mode and then there you go. 
I'm very surprised it's actually working now it wasn't before. But the last thing that is worth doing is updating your downloader. There has been an update quite recently on it. So do try uninstalling it and then reinstalling the updated version from the Amazon store. The Amazon store obviously being on the home page in the top left hand corner you see the search icon. You simply type in DAO or downloader. You're going to see it come up underneath. There you go ding dangly do. If it doesn't download and install to your device, it's because you've got no bank details set up to your Amazon account. Although it's free to download and install, they do require you have those details on there to use their store. So right, there is one last thing I'm going to show you when you're inside the downloader app. It's no good typing in these long URLs every time you want to visit a website. So what you can do is when you're on the web page that you like or you want to save, you click on the hamburger menu three line button, on either your controller or the downloader app and once you click on that you can add the current page to favorites click on that and we go down and we click on save and you see it says at the bottom favorite save all we do is go all the way to the left hand side it's the same every time you open downloader in fact we'll go out of the app we'll launch it again we'll go to the left hand side go to favorites and then there you go, you see the page you've just saved in your favourites and there's no more typing in those long URLs that do your head in. And then the last thing with Downloader is make sure you check your files because you may see that your device is running really, really slow. This can be due to storage. If you click on files, you're going to see I've got some installation files on here. And as you can see, Kodi alone is 62.7 megabyte in file size. And then you've got a 9.5 megabyte file. I don't know why I've installed it so many times. As you can see there, ES File Explorer 16.4 megabyte. So combined, that is quite a lot of storage for a device that hasn't really got that much storage. So do make sure these are only the installation files so you can delete these after you've installed the app. So long hold the middle button on the controller, just under the three line button hamburger menu. <laughs> so we long hold the enter button, it's going to come up like that, click on delete and that's it. It will not delete the app that you've installed, but it'll delete the installation file and save a hell of a lot of storage on your device. So that's what we like to see. No files found in download a folder. Sound. So that is everything you need to know for using Downloader on Fire Sticks and Fire TVs. Do bear in mind if you're trying to use Downloader on Android boxes, Android phones and things like that, don't bother. It's not made for those devices, it's really only made for Fire Sticks and Fire TVs. If you're using an Android box, use an ordinary web browser. So Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Puffin TV, Firefox, any of those. And if you're watching a tutorial on how to install something, but they're showing you're on a Fire Stick and you're on an Android box, follow it exactly the same with the URL and things like that, so the website. But instead of using Downloader, you will use a normal web browser. So that's one more thing to bear in mind. Android boxes and things, don't use Downloader. Downloader is only for Fire Sticks and Fire TVs. So yeah, I'm going to go now. This is where a quite bought, like people will be thinking, Jesus, this is like back to school kind of stuff. Too cool for school. But no, there are people out there who are having problems messaging daily. So I wanted to put this video out there to help you. So the steps to take, make sure in your settings and developer options, you've allowed the apps from unknown sources. Make sure when you first launch download it, you allow the permissions. Make sure the JavaScript is enabled inside Downloader and Settings. And then if you're having problems opening a menu inside of Downloader on a website, simply click the three line button hamburger menu and visit full screen mode. And then it'll get rid of that as well and you'll be able to access it all without having to use the drop down menu. So yeah, do comment down below if you're having any other kind of problems. Even if it's saying no internet connection, it's probably down to one of those things. So I look forward to seeing your comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's just down there underneath the video on the right hand side. So you're going to click on that and then click on the bell icon next to it. And then you'll get to see this pretty face a lot more often. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I'll see you soon. ta -da. Without you, I remember myself, my name. Forgot about